you. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? I stay far away from politics. However, politics does not stay away from you, does it? You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say, has a political impact. No matter if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you prefer to go solo. No, you're a shooting guard, an excellent core player. We will build a team around you, and you'll become even more effective. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed, about what we could do for the city, together as a team. I count on your support. I'm so glad you're here. I can deal with screams and fights, but this music is driving me crazy. My head is, it's, it's like a hangover. Wait, maybe it is a hangover.
enjoy with the broadcast. Fucking Be quiet. Yeah, we're no time, Mr. Redwood. Yes. You won't screw it up. Excuse me. Just like he used us. Behind us, we felt your love. Talk about a sword, loser. You had your chance and you blew it. Now it's the torch head's turn. Deal with it, like a bitch. This tin can. What did Wendell make you do? You saw it yourself. He needed us to extract brains from corpses. Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? He would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is he? When? Now? Um, I bet it'd be in front of a screen, wherever that fucking signal is supposed to reach. Because he's always watching. Operator, requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss.
Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town. Continuing pursuit. First they can't even connect a few fucking cables, and now they don't even answer. Shh. It's the new guy. He's waiting for some bigwig to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the bigwig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Rumbo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? 
Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble. Is that, Is that you? you? Come, Come to, to us. us. Yeah, Dad, Dad, we're waiting, we're waiting for, for you. you.
Dad? Are you coming?
Is that, that you? You look different. You're scaring me. I don't like how scary you are now. It's, it's not, not your, your dad, dad, kid. kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore. The remains of my husband, a police, a police officer, officer killed, killed in the line of duty. Did you create some kind of Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that shell?
Did you, Did you hear? hear? It's, it's true. true. You're, you're not, not one, one of us, us anymore. anymore. You're, you're not, not human. And, and you're not, not a real cop. You're, you're just, just the, the rotting, rotting remains of Alex Murphy. You're, you're something, something that, that should, should never have been. been. Something, something that should not exist. exist. We, have we have to fix you. you. We, we have, have to erase you. And we, and we will. will. Just, Just come, come to us. Come, come to the, to the rooftop. rooftop. We're, We're waiting. waiting. Have a bet. It's the crap that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will. You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't you?
You're back. There's coffee in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad, can you fix the camera? I think something's broken. Hey, you fixed it! Remember I'm playing a game this afternoon? Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This is a gift. Don't take him away from me! Everyone wants to be back home with their families. Be back home. Welcome, Welcome Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a, stroll a stroll through your old home. Do you think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing happened? This is a one-family house, built by ZM Industries. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten you. Why do you want to remember them? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you. Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you are a fusion of me and this metal armor, but you're not me. Not even a part of me. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself.
You are strong enough to take him. Don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Take this gift. Don't forget who you are. Alex Murphy! Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any... Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already... You have the right to an attorney. I... I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back. Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know. 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out. Could this day be any better? Jeez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. Thank you. 
I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Are you having problems getting a hospital appointment? Are you tired of being at the mercy of those never-ending waiting lists? Do you feel powerless? It's time to take the control back. Take part in the family heart raffle and play the odds. A single ticket is your chance to win a mystery medical service. Anything from a dental appointment to a knee transplant. Don't miss the opportunity. For only $9.99, I want a visit to the pediatrician. Fingers crossed for a prostate exam. A heart transplant? Here I go. Don't wait. Buy a ticket to the family heart raffle today. Selling your winning ticket is illegal and will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Not the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Have a seat, Robo. Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut, but the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? I do not need other people's approval to determine who I am. No, but no man is an island. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue, but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. 
The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? I do not know. Don't worry. You're not alone on this. I am here to help you figure it out. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're on to something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you got a high school diploma. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man! What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We... We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later, partner.
heart attack. Seriously? I didn't think he had one. You're one cold lady, O'Neill. Hand, rookie? Actually, I do. Still not used to working with one hand. You'll eventually forget about being shot Perfect. the first time. In my office. D yeah? When? When you get shot the second time. What? Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? This process takes time. Like most things that are worthwhile. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing.
Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. We're losers. I want to throw. the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled the hamstring because of them. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can offer you a higher standard of accommodation and additional benefits if you decide to sell. Just get the bullet out and let me leave. She's waiting for you, Murphy. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn, Becker. We should just lock him up already. I would like that. Maybe there's someone who'd be willing to help us? I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway... I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it.
private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. I serve this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. We did not see Delta City rise. But don't you worry. I promise it would happen. Mother, why aren't you saying anything? Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Do not worry, you are safe. Robocop? You came to see me? Like a real friend would? I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? It was like waking up from a long nap. A new man. I hoped that would be the case. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind? And give me some painkillers.
just better. I can always count on you. Can't I? Thank you, son. The helicopter is on its way, sir. Perfect. Oh, good news. Leave now. We need to get him ready for the transfer. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning he'll be back to signing deals if nothing happened. You have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us. Doesn't she deserve better? Lewis should be treated under better conditions. Hey, cameraman, you got that? Even an OCP robot sees the hypocrisy. Listen to him. Don't let OCP take away our city. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room. Seek answers. You came. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. What's the status? This is no appreciation to our Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced me to a new robot. Oh, it's QEDs? They already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. Bye. 
See if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you. Bob Morton, right? Marion Brown. and wanted to shut it down. He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them, so Becker continued to work on the project in secret. He took a big bath. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? <sighs> well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my group and enforce me.
sub next to authority. Discontinue the fight. Becker knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more.
hell just happened? Becker. Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker. It was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five years. I meant years. RoboCop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. That should do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical. To conduct an experiment without our supervision? Right. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old-timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now!
That should do it. What's going on over? there. Becker's here, and the...
Cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. 